everybody, Tyler here. Um, you can see I'm kind of back on my actual nice camera instead of my iPhone. Recording here on the, the Cam PowerShot. But um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm back in my Jeep mode. No movies, car videos. But I'm going to basically show you how to hook up uh, some fog lights. I already got them ho hooked in, but they're not powered right now. I'm just going to not really show you how to mount them or anything like that, but... I'm um, just going to show you how um, to hook them up to a switch and all that. So, a couple of things you're going to need. Um, I did forget to grab something, but I'll show you in a minute. You need a power drill to drill a hole for this type of switch. Uh, some type of switches may need it, some type might not. But this is the switch I got. It's a, I don't know, I, I call it a toggle switch. It has carbon fiber on it here. It looks pretty cool. Um, push it right there to flip it on and then you close it to turn it off. I think I'm gonna put it right here inside of there because that's where I got the most clearance. So I think that's gonna be a kind of a cool spot to put it somewhere in there. So um, I'll figure that out here in a minute where is I going to put it. I really rather not mess up my dash anymore than I have to. So probably gonna have to put it down there. So plan on doing that. Um, another thing you're gonna need, if I can get these wires sorted out, um, I'll try to leave a link where I got this. It's probably about four bucks for that. Then right here you have, if I can get it, this is the um, ground wire. You see here, um, you get that regular in, I forget what that's called. And then you have a place for you to put a screw. And that's for the switch because the lights themselves are actually ground already. And then here is this, I had to buy all this wire by the way and on here this is just uh, what's called a fuse tap now I got you can't really see it but it's two on um, 20 amp fuses one uh, runs basically what the fuel the fuse was on the other will run the fuse you're going to use and um, all this wire uh, the fuse tap I'll try to leave a link to that as well I'll find the link again of course I get this off of eBay I like eBay it's cheap and it's easy to use get that that's around four dollars um, then the wire, I got 10 foot of the red and the black wire. I didn't use all 10 foot of it, but I got all of that for around like $3.75, something like that. The fog lights themselves, I got at Walmart. They were on clearance for 15 bucks, and that was actual lights and a fuse and a switch and stuff. But the fuse and the switch are really stupid looking and they don't work. So I went this route. So I'll go ahead and jump out of the vehicle um, and try to show you in the front. You're also probably going to need a pair of pliers just so you can um, hook the this part down. I'll show you that in a minute. And then you're going to need a drill bit. I'm going to try to do it with a small one. If it doesn't work, then I'll bore it out a little more with a bigger one. So we'll see how that all goes. So here you guys go. Here's the fog lights I have. They're just simple one. Of course, like I said, they're just 15 bucks. But you see here, they are mounted on the back here, which you have the black wire here, that's your ground going to the bumper, and then you have your main wire, which is hooked up to a, a Y connector, I might say. Those bend down, and they look okay, and they're pretty bright. And this one go, goes over here, and it connects to a wire on here, and it's hard to do. I'm sorry I didn't show you this before, I just forgot. And then, of course, you have another ground here. I need to tighten this one up, this one's a little more loose. So the wire goes through here, comes in my engine compartment, you see that white wire, and then it goes through there, and it goes to the grommet there for the hood latch. So it goes to that grommet and goes all the way through the vehicle, and you see there, and that's what I'm probably going to use for like uh, my amplifier and all that once I hook all that stuff up. Um, but, um, so yeah, so that wire came with the kit, and I never end up using all of it, so there's that. Okay, everybody, we're back again inside, and here's this layout of things. Of course, you don't need keys. That's my car key. There's your ground wire for the switch, your drill bits. Got some tape keys. I need it. A pair of pliers, and the fuse line, and the fuse tap, and the drill to drill the hole. Here's the switch again. Um, this type of switch, and all switches are the same. It's kind of, I think they call it a toggle switch. I just thought it looked kind of beefy. It looked cool. It's like your, as my brother told me a few minutes ago, I showed him what I got. It's like, wow, it looks like you're about to have a bomb. I'm like, yep. So all you do is have this little nut here. You undo that nut. Try and do this one-handed here. I'm hoping you all liking all these videos that I know on my Jeep. I just, I really enjoy my Jeep, and there's a lot of things I want to do to it. Um, I wanted to get a new bumper for it and all that type of thing. I got seat covers coming, and 
a lot more stuff in here soon. But you see this part comes off and that's the part that goes on the top. And then you have your two little thing, your washer, and then uh, I forget what, that, what this other thing is called. Spacer, I guess. And then you put that in and you hook it all up the way you need it to be. And hopefully it all works. So you kind of want to test run this first before you drill it. Drill all that. So I'll do that because y'all don't have to see all that. But I, um... On my Jeep, I put a cup holder in. Uh, you go back to my old videos. I might put an annotation here somewhere on the screen so you can jump to that. But a cup holder in, it looks pretty cool. Um, this is one is the one that just mounts into here. It's pretty steady and all that. It's kind of hard to drill into it in this angle. So what I'm going to do is actually take um, this out so I can drill into it, put everything up the way I okay, need to. Okay, guys. Um, so here's the cable and everything I need to plug into the fuse box. You see down here in this Jeep Cherokee, if y'all watching for the Cherokee, the fuse box is right there. Um, right here, this is why it's coming out of that grommet. You might be able to see up in there. And that is my, the light, actual light for my, uh, for the, the scale from the light. I talk straight. And then right here is the fuse adapter. I don't use my um, rear wiper, so that's what I'm going to use, um, that little area. And then if I can get down here. It's kind of hard to film and hold the camera at the same time, do all that. So, you see up here, I've done this before, so I kind of know where it is. I'm trying to point the camera up there. Is that it? Okay. Okay, that should be in right there. Okay. Now I just need to plug everything up and make sure everything is working. And um, so what I do there, that's my power. That's what they call the accessory cord. And then my ground over here. I need to find a spot to put that ground in. Sorry if the camera's shaking. And then here's the switch itself. So what you do with the switch, you might be able to see on here, um, this has a positive symbol, ground symbol, and a, um, and a little bite symbol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook my power up. Okay, I got it all plugged up. You got my ground, um, that's power, and that's my um, lights. And these plugged up. Um, I'm not going to have power right now just because the car's not on. So you see right here, that is the, um, the ground. So I'm going to turn the car up. Cars on. Okay. I found a ground spot somewhere. I'm just going to, for now, do it right here on this. That's to be the easiest and quickest right now. And I'll figure some out later when I put the... Um, I'm planning on doing interior LED lights at some point. So find the right nut. And that's the first one. On. This is just going to be the easiest way to do it. Oh man. Okay. Maybe this is going to be harder than I thought, guys. Okay guys, I'm just going to hook it to here right now. It's not even on the screws, it's on that washer. All you need is a metal contact. I'll probably put it somewhere else once I probably put my LED lights in here. I'll probably do it then, but for now, I just want it there. And it doesn't really, really matter that much where you put it. And that's just the easiest. You see here I got everything hooked up and you kind of see the LED light is on. And uh, if I walk around to the front while the car's on, you're going to see the lights are on. You kind of see them there. And that means I got everything working correctly. Okay, guys, right now I'm just going to take this off, this drill, get all that off, and then so I can pull that thing out and put that on. And all you do is pull up and then undo your wire here. Of course, I'm doing this one-handed again, and there you go. You got that part unhooked to.
hooked back up. Oh, yeah, man. You see here, I got everything laid out. Here's the the top of the toggle switch and the two bolts and everything. The switch itself. And I got my drill bits. And this one's too small, so I'm going to have to use this one. Pretty big boy. My drill there. And then here's the um, cup holder here. And that's my mirror control there. And you guys probably know that is. The only reason why I'm doing to this, not because that's where exactly where I want to do it. I'm doing it here just because it's a free spot. And um, this is only 10 bucks, and I don't want to ruin my dash. And I can always replace one of these or whatever. So I'm just kind of lining up where I want it because I have to do it. Um, low enough because you got this part right here and because I want to stick another one under it at some point for my LED lights so I'm trying to figure all that out where I want everything so um, I'm going to mark it out and start drilling so you see right here I just made my hole with the, this drill bit here I uh, did just, en just enough so there's clearance under there so it's going to kind of go in just like that and so when it sits flat, it should sit just like that. Looks pretty cool. Um, so now what I need to do is get the toggle itself. Hopefully this is the correct way. Put in like that. And I can't do this two-handed, so I'll show you as soon as I get done. All right. I got that put in right there, and it's kind of wiggly right now, so that's why you need the pliers toward to get it nice and tight. You have to tighten that and just get it as tight as you can so it's snug and so this switch will work. And I'll show you how it works. Okay, guys, I got it as tight as I could. You can see it from the top. It looks pretty cool. Uh, and you just push that open, on, push that to go off, on, off. Pretty awesome. That is, that's just really cool how I get that hooked so, up. So, um, here's this. I'm going to set that right there. Man, that switch looks pretty cool. Now I just need to run all this wire up through under here and he found a gr I need to find a ground screw. I'll probably just hook it to the seat just because that's the easiest. But find that ground screw and I'll hook all that okay, up. Okay guys, I got pretty much, I think the hardest part of this whole thing is running these wires. You can see here, kind of see under here, I have them zip tied under there on the other side of the gas and brake just to be safe, I got them zip tied. And then these are just gonna run up under right here under all the way along and then right here they are coursing me under here and they run into here and then um, the ground wire is going to just go into the seat mount and that would be the easiest thing. Okay, okay we got all the wires run and here's the switch itself. I'm going to flip that over. Now comes the time trying to measure which one is this which I know this is the ground. This should be my power and that should be my um, accessories. I might have to go back on the camera and make sure, but as far as I know, that's it. So, um, here's my power. I'm going to hook that puppy up right there. Here's my ground wire. That's hooked in right there. And then, where's the last wire? And this should be the lights right here. Now all should stay connected. I'm just gonna run this ground wire. I didn't, I didn't think in my head that it would run that much past, but it doesn't really matter to me. I'm gonna try to push those down and then pull the wires through. So actually, if I can, it's probably not a good angle, but it's gonna have to do. all this wire back into that big hole. Not the big wire, I need that one. It'll all go back. Yep, we will just take some. If I hook this thing back up, So you see here, it's sitting back in. I need to drill it down, but you see that wire showing? That kind of bugs me, but I'll fix it over time. Right now, it's not really that jumping out there. 
So I go ahead and put these screws back in. Man, I am just sweating like a who knows what in July. Close this thing up. And ta-da, there you go, you got your switch in. That actually works pretty good right there. And if I ever do LED lights, I'll put the other switch right below it to do that. But let's go ahead and see if we can turn the car on. And you see right here, flip. That LED light is on. We walk around. And my lights are on. So that's pretty much it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna turn the car off first before I start talking to y'all. Go ahead and turn just turn the switch off, just like that. That's oh, no one keys out. So that's pretty cool guys. Just flip there, switch on, turn it off, and that's pretty awesome guys. Pretty so easy to do. I just did it in a matter of minutes. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and check out our website at getjeeping.com for more videos and for articles there. Also, comment, rate, and subscribe on the channel here at Get Jeeping. And for more videos to come, a lot more modifications and everything coming soon. I'll see you all in the next.